The Texas Longhorns hosted Seattle University for their Kick for the Cure game. It feels great. I mean, you always want to win at home, especially um, being the seniors' last home game um, on a Sunday. It was really important to us and just to get that win in front of our home fans. And especially for um, the Hope for Horns today and uh, for breast cancer, it was a good cause. We need, we really need this win. So we were all like, our mindset was to go out and win, and I think we're more afraid to lose, which we can see in the first half, but then we got it adjusted in the halftime, and then we got out strong, I think. You know, a little bit of relief, uh, you know, uh, although we don't, I don't feel like we ever looked like we were going to give up a goal. We weren't overly dangerous in the first half, much better in the second half. Uh, we were a lot more aggressive in the way we attacked in the second half. We needed to go forward in this game because we kept playing it backwards in the first half and we stood too much. So we're talking about making more runs and shooting the ball more forward and in between their backs and that was what we were trying to do in the second half. The Texas Longhorns were able to sneak in the game's only goal off this post from a Kylie Doniak corner kick to beat Seattle University. Actually, yeah, I, you know, I just kind of decided today I, I, I could take them, and so I tried, and it worked out, and so um, thank goodness we were able to capitalize on that. <laughs> yeah. So she was good today. You know, this is the best she's been she's, since she's come back. Um, it certainly brings a different element into our team, you know, that that that, we're, that we've been missing. So, you know, I'm I'm uh, happy with the way she's she's come back. I am. Um, it's really exciting for me right now. Um, today was a great day for me, just um, personally, just overcoming it and getting more minutes and just being on the field. I felt more comfortable, better with my brace, and um, it was really exciting. <laughs> Anthony Menino, College Press Box.